You do not need to be using tamoxifen as an AI on a oral cycle that's already toxic. What is up everyone? It's Fruce. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's a more sip is not so more at all calm so. Get some more spritz and check out the spritz review awards. Intelligent Iron. This is the best cologne, in my opinion, by far. Link is in the description to buy it. All right, welcome back to Peducation. Today I'm talking about Tamoxifen Novadex, everyone's favorite selective estrogen receptor modulator, which in my opinion is wrongly used as an aromatized inhibitor. But today I'm going to be featuring the history out of the Anabolics 11th edition. They don't really have much of anything as far as how it's used in bodybuilding. All right, Tamoxifen was first synthesized in 1962 by ICI for women's breast cancer treatments. Basically, if a woman was at a high risk for developing breast cancer, they would start Tamoxifen to occupy the estrogen receptors to stop the growth. They've noticed significant growth decreases as well as hindering of cancer growth when it comes to breast cancer patients. This later broke into the bodybuilding scene as a way to increase follicle stimulating hormone, which is a pituitary hormone that is used to control the gonads, the testicles. And that's how this became a post-cycle therapy drug. We start off women's breast cancer. We ended up all these bodybuilders using it to, in my opinion, prevent gyno as well as restart their HPTA, their hormone endocrine systems after abusing synthetic androgens. That's pretty much all that's in here. I'm gonna talk about my personal two cents on Novadex. So Novadex Tamoxifen is tried and true. You can see the typical PCT be clomiphene and Novadex and or enclomiphene, which is an isomer of clomiphene and Novadex, right? This is the tried and true PCT speed bump method to again, clean up your systems, feedback loops to allow you to produce the most natural testosterone possible to attempt to recover your HPTA after shutting or suppressing it down. The thing about tamoxifen that I see a lot is it's used as an aromatized inhibitor when it's not an aromatized inhibitor. It's a selective estrogen receptor modulator. I mean, if you're just using, you know, like if you're just trying to prevent gyno, we can just not use a super liver toxic thing like tamoxifen and we can use something like exemistane to block the aromatization pathway instead of occupying all the ER receptors. Remember, estrogen is not entirely bad and if you have no estrogen, you don't build muscle. Obviously, there's too much estrogen, which leads to gyno, water retention, blood pressure related issues, but we can use an AI to modulate that we don't need to be pulling out Novadex in the middle of a cycle while you're on orals i see this all the time they're running super toxic orals that are stressing the liver out and then they're adding 50 milligrams a day of Novadex, which 100 is going to throttle your liver on top of the orals you could use an ai that's much less toxic on cycle when it's time to come off you can add in the tamoxifen you do not need to be using tamoxifen as an AI on a oral cycle that's already toxic. People really do not understand how liver toxic tamoxifen is at 20 to 50 milligrams a day. This is where it's really annoying. We have aromatized inhibitors that block the aromatization pathway. We have tamoxifen, which is going to occupy the estrogen receptors. We use them at certain times. Use an AI, spend the money, to have Nova and an AI. I prefer Exemistane, there's an Astrazole, there's Letrozole, there's all these different AIs. I like Exemistane, there's a Remistane as well as a suicidal AI. I don't use Nova on cycle to prevent gyno. Stop doing that, that's a big mistake. It's all fun and games until you get your AST, ALT scores back on your liver. And it's like, oh, Andrew, I have fucking, it looks like I binge drank for fucking like every single fucking day, your whole oral cycle where that could have been avoided because you're using Novadex to stop your titties from growing. That's mainly the main gripe of tamoxifen I have. The way clomid and Nova is so synergistic is you have clomid jacking up LH, jacking up FSH, you have Nova in there that's stopping all that excess estrogen while also jacking up 
FH, which is follicle stimulating hormone. The two gonad controllers are follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. So when you're doing the Clomid, you could jack up your natural testosterone to a point where if the loop is fucked up, aka you have too much aromatization going on, then you're gonna have problems of actually restarting your natural testosterone. That's why it pairs well with Novadex, which is gonna block the ER receptors. As you hopefully clean up your diet, get back in shape, train super hard, get the aromatization under control so you can make a full gonadal recovery. This is how Novadex shines. Novadex does not shine for preventing gyno on cycle and acting as an AI. I just want to drive that home like ridiculously. Do not do that, please. It's cringy as fuck when you don't understand an AI in a CERN. They're two different things. They act pretty similarly, but at the end of the day with the feedback loops and the toxicity difference, we should just use an AI most of the time. Most of the time, we should just choke out the aromatization pathway rather than occupy the ER. Novadex is good at reducing gyno. It will bump shit off the ER, occupy it, and could shrink it back down. But the only way to truly get rid of gynecomastia, and I'll have Andrew throw it up, is to get surgery and get the glands fully, fully removed. Otherwise, it will always grow back, no matter if you're nuking it with raloxifene and Novadex all the time or not. When you're using Novadex, you're also destroying your HDL good cholesterol. You are causing a skew of low HDL and your LDL is going to rise. So this happens with any AI, basically. So keep that into consideration when you're using Novadex that your cholesterol score is most likely going to suffer. As far as dosages of Novadex, you see anywhere from 20 to 50 milligrams a day with 50 milligrams a day being significantly liver toxic. I don't know why that isn't talked about. So you definitely got to keep that into consideration of like, yep, can't drink with Novadex, can't do anything else to stress out my liver with Novadex, and especially can't combine Novadex with Dianabol and an Anadrol and all this other shit. Use an AI. That, that's the main takeaway I want from this video is to stop using Nova as an AI. It's a fucking joke that this is still going on. And I just want to see it used as a PCT. The key thing is to do Clomid, Nova together for four to five weeks. Clomid lasts four weeks in the body. You taper the Nova down. Once Clomid is completely out of the system, four weeks after the last dosing, you can pull your blood work and get an accurate pull of where your luteinizing hormones at, where your follicle stimulating hormones at, where your free and total testosterone are at, where your liver enzymes are at, as well as where your cholesterol is at. And then you can see if your PCT worked or not, or you have gonadal damage and have to do other things that we will mention in the next education. I will see you guys in my next video.